Hello, hello, and welcome to my full collection flip through. So we have three big binders, one A5, three mini little collect books, and then I will also be going through my deco top loaders. Um, I will have timestamps, hopefully, if I remember to do them. Um, but yes, uh, I have very quickly, I have been collecting since February of this year. Um, I collect um, some miscellaneous groups and then most the stray kids. Um, and I also have a bigger inclusion binder, which we will go through. Um, and I'll just talk a little bit about my collecting. And I will have a, a special surprise at the end for everyone. So let me get the first binder. All right, I have us a little bit more zoomed in and we will be going through my three collect books and my um, top loaders. First, we will go through this uh, mini collect book. It is the second gen uh, stay collect book and I hate this collect book. Um, it is awful. I don't know if mine was just made wrong. I don't know if you can see. I've had to tape it up. Um, yeah, I was not very happy with this. It fell apart very quickly. Um, but I keep all of the uh, fan-made Polaroids that I have. People uh, who give them as freebies, I keep them. And uh, my friend Hunter on Instagram made this one for me. Uh, this one came from a group order and I have, these are both of my, <laughs> like, proof polos on Instagram. This is my one for Mercari, my little Sungwani. Uh, this J-Hope, which I also got from a go. I think this one came in a Mercari order. I love this polo. It's so pretty. Um, I bought this one from someone. I bought both of these from people. This one came from an order. I adore this Pola. It was in here first for a long time, but this is like my favorite three Raja picture ever, so it stays in there. And then Cheek Poke Binny. I love this. The Tomin is so pretty. Um, and then Hunter made me uh, this uh, Han Deco Pola. It is so, so pretty. I have Hani's uh, <laughs> twin uh, Changbin in my phone case, actually, so it is perfect. Um, and then these are both official, so this is Lily's, um, I think it came from their InMix's first photo book, and this is Hans from the Skiz Chocolate Factory uh, merch. This is one of his pre benefits. Um, and then these both came as freebies, I believe, and they're super, super pretty. So, And then this was another one from a trade that someone gave me as a freebie. And then I make my only my own little poco so i have made these and i just keep some from all of my biases in here so yeah i love this little collect book um it's nothing like serious but yeah this is where i keep any like polaroids or things people make me or polcos that i really really love um because i give them out as freebies so um, I love that. So next we'll go through my little girl group mini binder. Um, this was like my first foray into like not deep collecting things um, because I like a lot of girl groups. This is like my JYP girl group uh, mini binder. I just bought this off Shein. Um, this first photo card is just Diane, eyes wide open PC, um, which I just got in like a random trade. And then I've got some Lily Pops. These are both of her um, photo cards from Admere. These are both uh, pre-order benefits from Admere. And these are the neon, the <laughs> neon, the neon cards from Cheshire. I've got Yeji and Yuna. And then these are just some extra uh, between one and two twice PCs. Um, I technically was going to collect all of. Cheyoung, um, Dayan, and Neon, but they're just a little difficult. Um, I mainly gave up because I could not find the Cheyoung Tiger PC that wasn't like $15 and like 
it's one of five PCs or one of like I think it's one of five PCs and I was like guys this is ridiculous like it's a cute PC but oh my god so I gave up on collecting all of them and then here are Nyan's and then the phone card and then Diane, who's my actual like bias in twice, and then just some extra Jihos. Cause I just I think I pulled a full Jiho set. Um and then this is one I'm Neon. I traded uh, one of my IRLs. I had a like a DK card uh back before I started collecting collecting DK. Um I pulled his card in a Sector 17 Target album, so I just traded her for this I'm Neon. PC, I was like, no, I'll trade you anything, just whatever photo card you have extra, and she was like, okay, I've got one that we can trade. So that's just that little photo book, uh, little collect book. Um, these are just little extra PCs so that I don't feel like I need to, like, fill up a nine pocket, um, which is kind of, like, how my collecting journey has been going. I am not, like, a, I am a very full collector with... Hanji Sung from Stray Kids, um, but everyone else, it's kind of like, meh. Um, we will get into that a little bit more as we get there. But this is a collect book from the uh, Unveil uh, Maniac concert in Seoul this past September, I believe. Um, and it is the Han Quoko one, which is super cute. And it came with one of the, the PC that it had in here originally. Um, I now have stored in this photo card binder. Um, but I put this Nasific Chungbin in here because this holds all of the like merch cards. So this has all of the Nasific. So for Nasific, I collect four members. I collect Chungbin. And then Ayan and Sungmin, who are my top four, my two, three, and four in Stray Kids. Other than Han, who I keep in a deco top loader for every single one I make one. Um, I think I began with round 10. I think this is round 10. Round 11. Round 12. Round 13. And round 14. And then I have round 15 on the way. So hopefully that will get to me... Um, next week so that will be in my next unboxing video hopefully so then i keep just the hanji sung uh merch pcs or any like solo member things um that i don't collect full group for or i don't collect my top four for which is um the daikon sets this was his pvc pick and then this is the lenticular um this came with the like mini version um that had like 100 photo cards of all the members but this was his Han cover specifically and then these are the two group cards uh not group cards but unit cards um and then here is a Stray Kids group PC from that same Daikon set this is the PC that was originally in the beginning of this binder and then this is one of the um, magazine um, collaborations they did. This is one of his PCs, um, which I actually cut down and rounded the edges off just because it was one of those like you push it through kind of deals and it had been, the GOM who had done it had not like done it perfectly so it was kind of like crooked and I was like okay I can't stand this so I just took it to my straight edge and I cut it down and made it PC size and I like it a lot more um and then this is one of the trading cards from the maniac merch uh Chungbin's and I love this PC um and then here is another one of the group PCs which I actually have um uh, another one of it in this deco top loader this is from my um IRL friend, but yes, this same picture, this came in the, um, the big Daikon, uh, set with the huge photo book, um, so yeah, and then this lives on my, uh, shelf in my room, and yeah, that is that for this collect book, so now I will bring, um, my, we will go through the 
these first. These are all of my Han um, Nasif PCs, and I'll tell you who deco the top loaders as we go. So this is from Hunter, who actually I have a lot of deco stuff from them, who I adore. They're so great at it. Um, and then I put them in this little sleeve. Um, I got this in a trade, I believe, and it is like, I don't know if you can tell, but it's got like a Nam Jin Bong, um, like embossed on it. To like the Stray Kids light stick. And it is so, so pretty, and I love this PC. Um, and that is what the back looks like. And then this is a deco done by me. And then this is a double sided PC. Um, which the one bad thing about putting these nice civic PCs in the collect book is that um, I have Changbin, Ayan, and Sungbin's version, but um, the collect book just doesn't really show double sided PCs super well. So I don't have them showing and then I have um Mochi who is one of my um pin pals actually made this for my birthday um so it is this double-sided Ayani which is super cute and they made the whole deco for me and gifted me the PC so it was super nice of them and then here is my absolute favorite Han Nae Civic PC like hands down they did this school um concept and they did so so well he looks so good in that red beret and that is the back and then we have this one um which i have in a like shatter um hollow effect this is the slave the gom sent him in so i was just i just kept him in because i really do like the shatter like hollow effect on pcs i think it looks super cool and i believe this is also a hunter um top loader that they gifted me in a pin pal letter and that is what the back looks like um and then we have this last Han Nasivik and like I said I have another one. Oh no I have another one on the way to me hopefully arriving this upcoming week and then here is the back he is not oh he got crooked when he had dropped him <laughs> okay there we go so yeah that is the Han Nasific, and these live on a shelf um, over by my bed. So let's go this way and keep the most exciting PC on the bottom. So this is uh, a Mingi uh, Zero Fever epilogue pub. I think it is so so beautiful. Um, you will see that I just co randomly collect AT's pops as they're pretty and I find them for good prices and I have a little bit extra money in my budget that month to spend so yeah bought him off of a moot and then the same day he arrived um, this deco top loader which was a gift a Christmas present from Hunter showed up in the mail so of course he lives in here and this is Sungwan's um, Apple Music Face the Sun PC, which I adore, adore, adore. This PC is so pretty. He looks so, so, so good. I love this whole background and the fact that I am moments away at every second from collecting like as much blonde Sungwan as I can. Ugh. Yeah, he is my third ult, so he is, he is my favorite. He's my favorite. I just love him so much. Um, and then this is another Hunter original. And it has this Ming Hao V8, um, just carrot version. I keep it in here because I accidentally... So, there were two concepts per member, and then two PCs per concept in the carrot version. So they would come with four PCs, and every member had four PCs for this, right? Well, I traded for the other one of these about four times I believe I had four duplicates of that card thinking it was this one um, thinking that the infinity sign in the background was the one that I needed when it was in fact this one that I needed and then this of course deco top loader just is perfect for uh, the eight so Aju nice indeed <laughs> it doesn't say Aju nice but I like to imagine that of course anytime I say nice I always say Aju nice and then my a most special um, PC in this whole collection is my signed Changbini card. This is the Skizu Shop. Um, no, not Skizu Shop. I think it's just Skiz Shop. I think uh, the JYP Shop 
um, US limited version had signed pobs in this um, concept and my friend Hunter who obviously one of my very favorite moots um, and good friends um, sold me one of their extra um, PCs and it is this Chongbini and I adore him and if you can see I don't know if it'll pop up on camera but you can see that he got some of the silver sharpie on his thumb or one of his fingers and like rub like it's on the back of the card and I think that's so so precious um, but yes I adore this PC with my whole heart it is oh it is so 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 special to me and it means the world because he is my second ult and he oftentimes fights with Han Jisong to be the number one uh the number one so yes I love him and I will leave him right here and I will be right back with my big inclusions binder ciao so this is my large inclusions binder um and it has all of the different groups that I collect, just all of the little like random inclusions and things that come in their albums. I do not collect everything as you will see, um, but what I do collect, I keep in here. Hello. I have my crafting place like right above where I'm filming right now, so I keep like hitting things and pins and everything. Um, I will flip through this as quickly as I can. I'm a bit of a talker, so I apologize. I won't make any promises, but this is the second gen fan kit um, for Stray Kids, and then Youngline, the middle children, <laughs> and then the Magni line uh, with the group photo card up here. I have the two um, film strips. I have the other two on the actual like little triangular uh, cardboard thing that you make with the... that came with it to like display them. So. The Lino and Han unit, and then the Felix Ione unit, I have actually like made. Um, and then I have the North American exclusive postcard. Mine is not signed because Maniac was my first album, Ordinary was my first album that I like bought. Um, and that was like the beginning of my collecting journey because I had been a big fan of K pop for probably about two years before that, but I had not had the funds or the means or the space or anything to really get into collecting so I was just kind of like a casual listener uh to everyone but like BTS I was very like into BTS um before that but now obviously Stray Kids are like my life so um these are the two postcards that came with the Maniac merch so like when I bought this guy and then my Han Koka uh, light stick cape. Um, they came with one of these each. They were like the purchase benefit from the um, unveil concert. And I adore this p picture of Hanji Sung. It's so pretty. Um, and then the Maxident uh, North American exclusive postcard. These are so in ordinary, there was like uh, an accordion. Um, inclusion for the Korean limited version I believe that's the like the black version I don't know the name of it but the, I think it was Frankenstein maybe it was Frankenstein I think it was Frankenstein um, and so it has the members and then their skazoo the middle children and their skazoo the maknes and their skazoo and then of course I'm sure I'll end up with some sort of maniac big inclusion because they are still doing tours and still releasing stuff to do with Maniac or I might just put something um, accident related or you know whatever comes next I will put right there these are the love letters oh no my hair ah the love letters so we've got the youngs the middle children and the maknes with um, the film strip this is the Korean limited inclusion and then this also came in the Korean limited albums. Um, they have like a three, fo three picture folio, I believe is what they're called, perhaps. And um, I got Han from a really, really good friend of mine who is living in Korea at the moment. Uh, Lexi, who I adore, she proxied um, some things for me and sent me this as well, which is super kind of her. 
um, and then I bought Suman's that came with a uh, group order that I joined. And then these are the three cut folio pictures from the case version. So this is what they gave us. Like instead of a, um, a photo book, we got these. And then they're in units. So we got the Han Ayan, which is like super lucky to me because that is my one and three in Stray Kids. And then both of my bias records, which is Wang Chan and Zoomin. Oh, I love them. And then Chungbin and Felix, and I remember when this picture came out because I was about to go take um, a econ exam, one of my last ones before I got my degree, and I was just like spamming my um, friend who's also a stay, being like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, sending them pictures, and they're Chungbin bias, so we share that in common. Um, and then here is the Hyunjin and Lino. Um, three cut. Um, and this is all for the stay and stay, so the Jeju photo book, the uh, fan kit, and then the um, season's greetings. So that will all be stuff that goes in here. And then quickly we have the Maxident uh, mini posters, which are the bane of my existence because they are matte. So they get scratched up so, so easily and oh my god. Like they'd be scratched and the corners would be super scuffed and it was just, it was just a mess. Um, but I have a full OT8 set of these, which I'm so thankful I did not have to trade. Like what, try, seeing people like package these and trying to trade them because they're, they're pretty big. Um, so like trying to get your bias would have been a nightmare. I'm very lucky that um, I bought an OT8 set from that friend in Korea and she was kind enough to send me an OT8 set of the mini posters. Um, and then here are the postcards from uh, Checkmate. And then Yeji and Chaeyoung are both of my biases, so I have them back to back here, which I think is super cute. And then I gave my sister Yuna's postcard, so she lives with her now. And then getting into Cheshire things, I've got the little box, which I actually have one built. <laughs> and it's just on my desk right above my crafting spot. Um, and Yeji and Cheryoung take turns uh, watching over my crafts. So, <laughs> and then I've got Leah's film strip. And then I've got the two clear, like, mini poster cards of Leah and Yeji. Which I think here you can tell is the first group that I don't collect, like, all of the big inclusions for. And I just keep what I pull. Um, that is starting now, and I've kind of accepted that, and I really enjoy doing that, having a lot of fun with it, so I'm excited to continue with that. And then here's the Yeji Yuna uh, four-cut PC. Not PC, but it's it's photo-sized. It's pretty big. Um, and then here is Ryujin's mini poster. Getting into my very small TXT section. These are two um, postcards from Thursday's Child. I've got Taeyeon's and Bongyu's and then some lenticulars that I have. Um, I think I have a full set of Taeyeon? No, I have two of Taeyeon's, um, who is my bias in TXT, but like I said, if it's a group that I just like enjoy, um, I just keep my pulls, whatever I do pull, um, and I join group orders for them. So if I end up collecting like a full member, you know, that's just how it goes, but if I buy the albums in person, I uh, just keep my pull. And then this is the Skazoo um, label from my Liebit, and then this is the backing of the uh, seventh anniversary um, charm from uh, Seventeen, and it is Sungwon's, who I have his charm and I adore it. And then quickly, these are the kit postcards from Face of the Sun. I just have the ones for Face of the Sun. Um, oh, and I also have a have a Hyunkai. Uh, tear lenticular kind of sitting here. I pulled him uh, super, super, super uh, damaged on the back. So he, he lives in here. Um, and then here is the, like I was saying, the kit uh, postcards, photo things. Um, so we have from Face of the Sun. So we have Pioneer and the Path. No, right. Pioneer and Ray. And then Jongon's Pioneer and Ray. Joshua, June, Hoshi, Wanu, Uji, 
uh, the eight or Ming Hao, and then Ming Yu, and then DK, Sung Wan, Vernon, and Dino. And then I have the two little postcards of the full group that came in these there. Um, and then I've just got two little uh, Sung Wan. This is his standee from Yes24, I believe. And um, one of his in the same outfit postcards. And on the back, I just have Wuji's of the same version and then of the same standee. So he's also a standee. And then uh, S. Coops's, one of his. Um, shadow version uh, postcards just because I think it's super super cute um, and then I have just some ATs posters from the um, zero part two fever part two sorry <laughs> oops uh, yeah so here we are so I have an OT7 set of that and then the group card because these I bought an album for like $10 just so that I could have the album to make a collage out of it um, and it came with those so I have those um, yeah I'm gonna go get my miscellaneous binder and I'll be right back we're back with my miscellaneous binder um, so this actually has my 17 biases on it which is the eight uh, I almost called him Sukman Sukman which is his like real name um, Dokyum or DK I love him um, and then Boo Sungwan, who is my, uh, my bias. I, I, I love them so much. Um, and then I have another collage of them. So, like I was saying, this is where, um, the card that I have in the, <laughs> um, top loader is. And this is the card that I kept trading for a million times. So, yep, he lives here. Um, and then this is the carrot versions. And then DK's and Joshua. Okay, so for Faceless Sun, I did something kind of strange. I did one nine pocket page of um, Sungwon, and then I'm collecting three cards from the other members, just ones that I like. Um, so I, like, I picked some and I put a whole bunch of cards up for trade, and I said, Here, trade me for any of these. Um, and yeah, I got a lot of trades in doing that that way and I am very excited about it just because faces on super burnt me out it's just there like there is one PC with him where like this is ridiculous like these are both same outfit the same pose he's just got them on different sides of his face and it I, it burnt me out so bad so I am only keeping one nine pocket and then here is the beginning of the shenanigans. So here is Joshua. I've got these three cards on the way in January. This Wano. And then these Minghao PCs. This Mingyu PC. DK, Vernon, and Dino. So I am completely done with three members. Um, and I'm just wincing one S Coops from being away from being done with his two. So that is exciting. Um, and then I collected one page for Sector 17 because this came out like I was still burnt out from this and I was like absolutely not and at the time I was like dealing with a really terrible gom for Sector, not Sector 17, for Face the Sun that I was just like so burnt out like arguing with them that I was like okay nope absolutely not I am I, I can't do it so I joined like one group order like to get the weaver for her to benefit and that was like it I was done after that um so yeah this is all I collected so I have of my biases I have one single one from each version and then I think this is DK's target probably I think it is yeah I think that's DK's target and then this is um uh I always call him Ming Hao, but I'm trying to call him the eight. This is the eights. Um, these are both of like the new heights, and this is the new beginnings version, I believe. I believe I might have those backwards. Um, and then these are the eights um, Weavers version PCs, and I I just I love them so so much. These are just some random merch PCs. This is the uh, seventh anniversary PC that goes with the charm that I showed you. These are some of the DI Con 
PCs from last year. Um, this is as well. And then this is just one. These are both uh, 17th, 5th membership PCs. I also had Dino, but I sold him um, and placed him with so one and then once I get another one, this um, Joshua will be on the way out and being replaced. Hopefully by another single one doing a peace sign. <laughs> Hopefully in the, next, in the exact same thing. That would be amazing. That would be really happy. Um, and then these are just attack of PCs. Um, again, I was getting really fed up with my collection with 17, so I just like purged, and this is what I kept from Attacka. And then this is uh, one of my very random pages. I actually kind of like it. So I've got both of Mihao's. I think these are Hengere? No, You Meet My Day. Um, both of his You Meet Me My Day. I got those in random trades, so I love these PCs. They're amazing. He looks so good. These are two the name PCs. I'm gonna have Sungwon's other one and then one of Hao's. So I'm gonna put um, Sungwon, Sungwon, and then Minghao's here. But we will see. And then this tier, which I, so I pulled the tier Linti, uh, Hinankai damage, and then I also pulled his, um, I believe this is tier, I feel like it is, but I'm not, now I'm not sure. And I also pulled this one damaged, so I was like, ah, so he lives in my collection now. Um, and then I've got this Jake PC and this random, uh, TXD card, which I keep here. Um, and then this is going to be for the Japanese PCs um, for 17 when I get them. Then this is the beginning of my like truly like I love this group and I technically have a bias but they have so many cards I don't want to collect like their album PCs because I know I'm going to get burnt out because they look so similar. So I'm not going to waste my time getting mad <laughs> um, or waste my money and then get mad and backtrack and everything. So. I'm just gonna collect what catches my eye, which is mostly for ET's pobs because they have so many and you can usually get them for pretty cheap, um, like $10 and less. So, you know, as a Stray Kids collector, that's pretty good for um, pobs. So, um, yes, I have this ET's collage that I made. And then, as you can see, Young is my bias. I have these two Murnell PCs. This is a Fever Era. Um, pop. This is a the world pop. I think the, the rest are world pops. Yeah. Episode one movement. Um. So yeah, I have those, and I adore these PCs. Um, I have these PCs from their O2 Youth photo book. So I've got the um, like shimmery hollow ones, and then I've got the regular ones. Um. So I got Sungwa. So, yeah, Sungwa. Sungwa, not Sungguan, Sungwa. Um, Sunny, Mingi, and Uyong. Who Uyong is my bias. I adore him. Ugh, I love him so much. Um, and then these PCs just came with the album that I bought. So I'm just gonna put random photo cards here. So I've got one Hongjun, one Sunny, and one Jango, and. I, I love them. Jungle was my second bias in ET, so. Then I have my very small Twice collection. Um, these are some talk that, no, between one and two. Talk that talk was the tile track. Whoopsies. <laughs> um, between one and two pops. Another set of pops. Um, and if you don't collect Twice, which Twice is like one of the most popular groups ever, I'm sure you know this, but they come with an OT9 set of pre-order benefits if you buy, um, if you pre-order the album. So they come with like a, like a, like a little package that has all of these in them. And then these are the two versions that I bought. I have like a, another set that I have used to like journal with. So. And then here is my little, these are my album PCs that I just kept one thing of. And then Nyan's target card. And then I believe that this is Diane's target card. And then um, Che Young's message card. And then Che Young, and um, Diane, Mary, and Happy cards. And then this is the group card from this set. So then we get into my Checkmate album collection. So this is how I was originally collecting the Edgy. So I was going to do like all five of her cards here and then um, her 
second card her I actually bought her last card so it is on the way to me in January and then I've got Leah and Yuna and I'm gonna get uh, a Ryujin and Cheryoung whenever I think about it and have the time um, but with this era Yeji has been so difficult to trade for um, so I have decided in this era talking about Cheshire that I am just going to be keeping my pulls so I had a dupe of one of the unit PCs so I traded that but other than that I am fully just keeping my pulls which I am totally fine with so I have these two Barnes and Noble Bruder benefits which I adore I love these so so much and I pulled my two biases so these were both pulls which was super super lucky of me and this is the Leah uh, Linty these two uh, unit PCs this is one of the limited um, PCs the limited the PCs I pulled both of these which is super lucky and then I also pulled Yeji so of the four PCs that I like solo PCs I pulled Yeji which is super super lucky of me because she is my bias and then I have this Yuna so and then I just have this um, the couch PCs from the B essential so Yep, that is everything for my miscellaneous binder, um, and there is plenty of room to grow in this, which is good because ATs and TXT are having a, a comeback, and they both um, will live in this binder. Um, now that I have kind of come to terms with just like collecting what I want, and I don't feel the need to like finish collections and like do all this stuff, I, I am much more excited um, about this binder in general. And one day this is probably going to end up being just like a 17 binder because with their comebacks and everything now that I've kind of decided that this is how I'm collecting I will probably be like much more on top of it um but yeah let me go get my Stray Kids binder and I'll be right back all righty hello hello um and we're now going to talk about my Stray Kids binder so my big binder is just my OT8 collections so anything album related and any like merch sets that come with OT8 um photo card sized inclusions will be going in this binder again this is another um collage that i made and then i make for stray kids i make one per per era for them so this is going to be the um second gen fan sign not fan sign second gen uh fan kit and that came with two pcs this is the first ever like pc set that i owned so I bought this um just because I wanted uh the membership and I was like oh my god what if I want a Polaroid which of course I did not want one of the Polaroids which is literally the only reason I bought it I was like oh my god I'm gonna try my luck um so because I think it released the um recruitment era for this was around my birthday so I was like okay this is just gonna be my birthday gift to myself and of course now I'm so so glad that I bought it um because these sets sell for like 40 to 50 dollars each um which is crazy um because that's how much I spent like on the whole thing like was like I think 75 dollars and that's like including shipping for everything so I am very glad that I bought this and then this is made from the Daikon <sighs> like deco book which I am so glad that I did that because ta -ta 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 -ta. I do I really do like this collage it took me forever though because these are stickers that had to be in like cut out individually along this like dotted line and the dotted line was so cruel because like it would go like I'm trying to figure out there was one that it was like yeah with Hyunjin's it like went around his fingers and I was like this is evil who did this um but yeah so I made that from the daikon set um and then this is the only like ot8 uh no easy set that I am collecting um which is just the pre-order benefits the double-sided pcs and I'm just missing Hyunjin again I will just get that one whenever I see it for a reasonable price and just feel like buying something <laughs> um so this is where my no easy money is going is this set of my top three lucky draws um no easy is my favorite album from stray kids i adore that album so 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 much 
Um, it was the first one of Stray Kids that I was like, knew a comeback was coming and like I was ready for it and I was excited and I was like, I'm gonna stream this music and I remember when it dropped and I was like listening to everything for the first time and I was just like screaming. Um, so yes, I will be getting all of these eventually. I and I just need one more. I really need to just buy this because I see this PC all the time. I just need to buy it. Um, and then I just, I just, I see them around. I just need to just, just buckle down and buy them. They're like $20 a pop, which kind of sucks because like, well, maybe they were $20 a piece, but like you can, like the Lucky Draws from Accident, you get both of the photo, the, like both of the Lucky Draws for like $28 originally and then like with the EMS and domestics it's like maybe $30 so like I don't know but anyways and then this is the only little these are the only things from Christmas Evil that I'm collecting I think I have like four sets of these just because people like will give them away as freebies because if you pre-ordered uh Christmas Evil you got a whole set of these pre-order benefits or like they were in the limited edition or something like that so like there are so so many of these floating around um, and then we get into Ordinary, which is where my, like, OT collection starts. We start off with my favorite set. This is the Redback version, and I adore this PC. This is hands down one of Ian's best photo cards, and it is an album card. Like, he popped off on an album card. Like, they chose so well for this man. And then I also love this PC. This is probably Suman's, like, some of Suman's best work right here. Like, this is some of Suman's best work. And then this poor, poor, poor set, which got misprinted and just, just, uh, just so washed out. I feel so, so, oh. And then this set, which I have Hyunjin, Han, Seungmin, and I claimed it a go from like April of last year, of like this, this year, so 2022. And it is with the second GOM, and the second GOM has like fallen off the face of the earth. I don't know what has happened to her. Um, but I hope they uh, send me my cards soon. <laughs> I hope they're okay and I hope that I get my cards because <laughs> I, I need them. I spent like $80 on this and like the sub K for the benefits and I, I just, I, I want them. Um, and then we have the unit PCs from Ordinary. More unit PCs from Ordinary. I am missing two of these but they are super low prio. I will get them eventually. I'm not worried about it. Um, and then this is actually the first ever PC I pulled out of a album. So my Instagram pack handle, if you know me, is Big Hedger Trader Trading, and I actually got it from this photo card. It popped up, and I like it's stuck in my head forever. So I think of that all the time now. And then we get into Maxident. So we have this first set. This is also, this is their best set of PCs, in my opinion. Like, these are so, so good. Like, all of the Maxident album PCs are so good. And then we have the second set. And the third set is I am. Oh, he is. He's got black hair in all of them. Does Hyunjin have? Oh, and Hyunjin has blonde hair. Okay, this must have been filmed very similar to each other, because they all have the same hair cut and style, which is uh, very atypical for them. <laughs> um, and then this is another like low priority. I will get them eventually. I have tried to buy and trade for this Han selfie to complete the selfie version of these case versions and probably four times and I've either been ghosted, left on red, or like, oh, sorry, uh, never mind. And I'm like, okay, that's fine. And then this Ayani Pob, for some reason I cannot find him anywhere for like a decent price. Um, because I only want to spend like five dollars on these cards each because like even with shipping I might have paid nine dollars for my like case version and that had both PCs in them so and then this is a very very exciting OT8 set probably my favorite 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 these uh, were the OT8 set that I bought from my friend in Korea Lex who I adore um, and she went to the unveil concert bought some L lucky draws there and sold me the um the sound wave uh, like these so with lucky girls with stray kids you get 
two PVC cards per set and then like one something else. Um, sometimes they'll do like a four cut picture or a like, um, oh, what are they called? Like sometimes they do printed Polaroids. Here they just did other PCs. So Soundwave had like five or six benefits for <laughs> Maxident. But these are the like offline Soundwave Maxident period benefits. So I have an OT8 set of those and I adore, adore, adore these PCs. And then these are the Polaroids that came with the love letters in the pre-order. Uh, albums, and then this is a full set of the um, stickers. So this is the Daikon, 100 PCs, and I still do need to make a collage for this, um, but we will get there. I'm gonna flip through this pretty quickly. Um, I filmed a like putting away video, which also cut off, but yeah, I'm just gonna flip through these. We get, um, I believe, five sets of like concept photo cards. Also, I promise this goes here someone messed up with the design of this and some of the backs just don't match the concept and I tried so hard to get them all to match and I just like see this one's right and then here we go here and this is right and then that chong button is just randomly wrong and that's right and then we had four sets of selfies, which uh, this is perhaps the best Bong Chan PC to ever PC. It is so, so good. And this is my favorite pose, um, selfie pose that Han Jisung does. And I, I adore this PC so much. And then we have the lanyard set. This is another amazing awesome, great, popped off on something different when he took this Bong Chan PC. And we've got, I love this, like shorter, um, like mullet style Felix with the like bluey silver streaks in his blonde hair. So good. So, so good. And then a poke cheek Changbun, which I adore. And then the last set of selfies with, of course, a kissy face Ian who, oh, the king of the duck face, personally bringing it back from 2009. Oh yeah, this is another thing. Look, these are wrong. Like, these sets very distinctly go with each other. And, like, these, they, they just messed it up. They just messed it up. It's fine. Um, and then I call these, like, the twice pre-order benefit cards. Um, because they look like those, they look like twice pre-order benefits. Um, but they are Stray Kids, and I really like them. I did not originally plan on storing these in my binder, but so I need I still need to make a little like center insert for them. But they're super cute, and I'm very happy to have them. Um, and you can probably tell I don't have these sleeved just because there are so many of them, and even storing them in my binder has already bulked up so, so much. Um, and they're not very expensive to buy on resale, so if something terrible happens, I can very easily buy them again if I need to. I will be right back with my pre-order benefit binder. Bye! Hello, this is the final binder of the collection flip through and I just want to go ahead and say do not worry if you are stay. This is not a broadcast PC. This is just a fan made version um, and he lives in the front of my uh, pub binder um, and I, I just pink poke cheek Benny. I, I adore him. If one day I find him for a good price i will i will most likely end up buying him because this is ev this is everything to me um but yeah seeing the back that is the back from the fan made version that i bought um and then this is my first set of pre-order benefits this is my christmas evil chani actually just came back he was in my um photo card holder which currently has teddy bear sungwon from the weavers version on it it goes with me everywhere i go and this chani was in that PC holder for a little while during Christmas. And then we get into my first, this is an in life uh, pub with Chongbin and I adore, 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 adore this PC. This is his um, 
God's menu outfit and it is it is so elite that is when he like caught my eye for the first time was during that music video it's so good and then here is his sub K um, no easy benefit with fans around one ordinary which I am so glad I actually got scammed out of um, his PC Hans Ions for both round one and two um, but I had like panic double claimed him in another go and because I didn't think I had actually already claimed him um, but thankfully this gom did not scam me <laughs> so I actually got him and then I got this honey um, in a trade for a Sumin Shopee um, ordinary card and this is no easy so um, and then we get into the beginning of my like Han ordinary collection like I said ordinary is the first comeback that I was like really collecting so I've got his K-Town for you his Zoom. Hmm. I do not know. It does not say. I know this is key down for you. I'm not exactly sure, but it is a very cute card. <laughs> um, his, this is his MMT. This is his um, target version. And then we have Make Star. Yeah. Oh no, this is his key down for you. And I don't, actually, I, I'm sorry, I don't know off the top of my head, K down for you. And then this is Sub K, Chongbin, which I do have Hans coming, and he'll live right here. And then here are the two Han um, Lucky Draws. This is from round one. This is from their Venom outfit. I adore these PCs so, 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 so much. Um, and then his... Um, freeze cards will go down here when I eventually just suck it up and buy them one day. Um, and then here are the Unveil Lucky Draws, again, that I bought from a friend who actually went to the concert. Um, and I have the two Doodle PCs and then the um, Concept PCs, which are super, super pretty. Um, and then this is the Barnes & Noble set. So this is Han Changbin and then this is Changbin's Target PC. Um, I will probably buy Hans Target at some point, but it is it is not a top priority for me. So, and then this is my of the um, accident pubs that I own right now. This is probably my favorite Han one at the moment. I love this Apple Music Han. It is so 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 pretty. Um, and then I have his um, Make Star. Yeah, and I severely dislike this PC. I, I just, he is gorgeous and I wish they would stop messing with his face. <laughs> um, this is the K-Town for you benefit and then Soundwave? Yeah, because it's the hollow. So this is the Soundwave PC and then just pages of, these are all goes that I am running. So these are goes that I'm running. This is a go that I'm in. Yeah. And then this is just living here. So I actually just traded him away for um, Chongbin's, but he is living here just for me to film this video. This is the JYP shop pub, and I am so excited because I'm going to get Dweki, and I'm so, so excited. And then here are just more. Just waiting. Just waiting. Um, and then this is the Blue Dream Media. Uh, Soongun, I will most likely end up um, collecting at some point once, like, comebacks kind of slow down for Stray Kids. All of Soongun's white hat fluffy hat uh pieces because i just i i love this outfit oh so so much and the, and the pink bangs at the beginning when we were like oh my god is he actually gonna do it and then he still has like colorful bangs like to this day and i, I just i adore them um and then these are the pieces that came in the like big daikon uh photo book i've got the han set <sighs> and then this is the Jeju merch, the Stay and Stay exhibition. Um, also, if you're a Stay, you know what happened when these came out. We all thought that they were just going to be Polaroids because they're always just Polaroids. And then they dropped some absolute bangers of pre-order benefits. So, not pre-order benefits, but like purchase benefits, I guess. Um, and my friend who's in Korea bought 
Han and Changbin's like Han's sunset one and then Changbin like cardigan sweater one and I am so excited to see what the JYP shop and the Skazoo shop are if they are just Polaroids I'm gonna be so mad um I do just have one of each coming I bought the photo book um uh no I will have the it'll come with my Dweki so I bought like a, a mini a mini Dweki um from the uh, JYP shop, so that will be there, and then I bought the um, photo book off of Sub K, which comes with the Skazoo Pop. Um, and then we get into my Sungwon pre-order benefits, so this is one of his Lucky Draws, Weaver Shop, uh, the Weaver's um, version, and then this is his Weaver Shop as well, so I guess there were two. There were two, I guess. Um, and then this is his with fans around one, his target card, another one of his um, Weaver's version, and then another lucky draw. My absolute favorite lucky draw. I love this photo card so, 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 so much. Um, his in the soup card, and then his Weaver's um, period of benefit from Sector 17, which I adore this pose. He is, he is such an angel. I love him so much. And then another, his I think it's Power Station Lucky Draw um, from Sector 17, which this is this is so pretty. He's so pretty with the blonde hair. I just I, I had to have a blonde hair soon one page because I just I love him so much. Um, but yeah, I have room for growth in this binder, thankfully, because all of my groups have so, so many um, pre-order benefits. And I just like you saw, I collect pretty much fully for Han. Uh, Sungwa, I just get what I can get my hands on um, as they come to me and as I have the patience and time to join GoFs for. So, yep, that is everything for this, I believe. I will be right back with my last little thing um, and a thank you. <laughs> 